Is it important to fix that diastasis recti apart from just aesthetics? The answer is yes. Now we had a lot of comments and questions on our longer video about diastasis recti and one of the questions that came back a lot is is it important to fix that diastasis recti apart from just aesthetics? The answer is yes. Because solving your diastasis recti is the key factor to finally get rid of your lower back pain or of your mommy tummy and there's many more reasons. Now in our app we have the exercise routine protocol. But apart from that we have many more features and one of them is a very extensive video library with everything you need to know about the diastasis. One example, how can you test your diastasis recti if you have it or not and how severe it is. And the other video that we wanted to show you today comes out of that library as well. Why should you fix your diastasis recti? Enjoy it. Why do you want to solve your diastasis recti? Probably you want to get rid of your mummy tummy or the bloating of your stomach. But apart from aesthetics, it's got huge consequences for your physical health. Because when the fascia, the connective tissue in between your both sides of your rectus abdominis is weakened, it allows the belly to dome out. That way you've got less control over your core and allows for a greater hip tilt, which results in an excessive curve of the lumbar spine, which as a consequence puts excessive stress on the intervertebral discs and might in the long run even create disc bulging or herniation in worse cases, pinching the nerve, creating back pain that can radiate all the way down to the heel. You want to regain control over your abdominals, make them strong and restore your healthy, neutral spine posture. Furthermore, an uncontrolled diastasis recti is going to be a breach in your power output, as it is the connection between your power producer, being legs and hip, and the executors, the arms and the hands. Because your chain of power production is only going to be as strong as the weakest link of that chain. So if the core is weak, the full movement will be compromised. Let us show you some examples. In sport situations, for instance, your power in a sling, swing or hit is mainly generated in the hip region, but transfers all the way to the hands. And if the core is weak, as a result the movement will also be weak. But also in daily life and work situations, you need the core as a stabilizer. Fresh moms, for instance, have to take the kid out of the car in much less than ideal circumstances, with the weight of the baby being far away from the feet, causing a lot of leverage, thus stress on the lower back. If the brace is weak, the lower back is in danger. Same story when you want to take heavy objects out of the cupboard or put them in there. And like this, there are many more examples. 